Hey guys, it's Julia here, and do you guys miss the days where you could just go to control panel and upgrade your computer to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 and it would just show here? Well, I have the video for you. So in this video, I actually figured out a way on how to get it back thanks to Reddit, which I'll link everything in the description and I'll show you guys the process. So anywho, let's go check it out. So I came across this Reddit post one day and says it's still possible in 2035, they meant 2025, that was a typo, I looked in the comments, but you can still upgrade to Windows 10 and Control Panel. And I was very curious and I actually commented on this and asked like how to do this. And someone replied like a few weeks later or something saying that they posted it in another comment. So I checked it out and this was the link that it led to. And this pretty much tells you exactly how to do it. So you have to have Windows 7 or 8.1 activated with volume licensing, and it only works with pro business and enterprise. You must have your OS fully up to date. A program called WU is back, which is very important for this. Um, I guess a good network speed, so it downloads quick, but I mean, it'll work on pretty much anything. And of course, time and patience. And then it tells you what to do to activate it, which I'm not going to get into that. You guys can figure that out. Um, you install the WU is back and you check the option for allowing OS upgrade. This is very important for this to work. And then once you check for updates, you'll actually get the Windows 10 upgrade offer. And it does offer multiple versions of Windows 10. So you can pick which one you want. Obviously, if you're wanting to legitimately upgrade a computer from 7 and 8.1 to 10, probably do the latest you can do. But for this experiment, I'm probably going to do an older one because I want it to be more nostalgic. So, anywho, if we go to the WU is back link, we have this, in which I recommend downloading the stable version. That is the one I downloaded and it worked perfectly fine. So, yeah. Anywho, let's uh, get with this. Okay, so obviously we need WU is back, which I downloaded it here on my computer and I'm just gonna click and drag to my virtual machine. And from there we have the program, which I'm going to double click on it. And then you click yes to the user account control. You can see it's legacy update, but it's a mod. As you can see, someone modded it. And there's an option here that says allow OS upgrade. And they say you have to select this to be able to get this to work. So then we'll click install and you just let it do its thing. Doesn't take very long in my experience. It's very quick, very fast process. I will warn you guys something. After upgrading to Windows 10, it's you need to somehow remove what it does, otherwise it like glitches out Windows Update and it doesn't work properly. Um, but anywho, let's go to Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Update, and let's check for updates because we should get the Windows 10 upgrade offer now. That should have shown Windows Update. Oh yeah, while well, this checks, let's just uh, move this to the downloads folder just to get it off the desktop, but... As you guys can see, it actually says that we receive updates managed by your system administrator and there's a button to check online for updates for Microsoft Update. That is because this uses a WSUS server, which has all of the Windows 10 upgrades on it, which is why I say you need to remove the WSUS server after this, otherwise Windows 10 is going to like show every single feature update. You asked me how I know, I tested this off camera first to make sure that it works and yeah, let's just say it did that. So at the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to like fix that. You don't want to use all your network bandwidth like I did when I was experiencing this. Okay guys, I'm back. I'll let it check for updates and you guys can see it says upgrade to Windows 10. Start installing the newest version of Windows now and there's a more info button and you're probably like, what does this do? Well, let's click it and find out. So of course we have IE. And it just opened the Windows 10 update history of version 1803 for some reason. I don't know why it chose 1803, but it just brings up the update history page. And then you can see we have the see all available updates button, which is very important. So as you'll see here, we scroll down and you guys will notice it actually has one of the updates selected, which is Windows 7 and 8.1 upgrade to Windows 10 version 1709. But you can see we have up to 1607 and we can just arrow down and have all of the Windows 10 feature upgrades, which is just insane that we have all of these, which by the way, just FYI, oh yeah, that's, a, that's the latest one right here. 
it only goes low as 1607 so i can't unfortunately do like version 1507 or 1511 which are not here and those were the two that were offered during the free upgrade offer so like I kind of wish that those were there for the nostalgia. But for this purpose, let's do version 1607 because that's the lowest one we could do. And there was still a way to upgrade to Windows 10 for free back then, even without the upgrade offer. If you use the media creation tool and did the upgrade this PC now option, it would just upgrade and you'd have a license. And I even think an ISO would work too. But we're just going to install this because it's the oldest we can do and all that. So now you can see it's downloading Windows 10. And I wonder what would happen if I selected all of them. I'd probably download all of them and I don't want to waste my bandwidth so I'm not doing that. But now it's checking the requirements and honestly, it's the Windows 10 upgrade process. And you guys are probably wondering, how does this work? It works because it's connected to someone's WSUS server with that WU is back thing. And they have a ton of feature upgrades on there. And when you check allow OS upgrades, it allows you to pretty much upgrade feature updates through that server. So it's essentially pulling Windows 10 from a server and that's how it's actually working still. Because if you check on the normal Windows update or Microsoft update, it will not show this upgrade. So that is why you have to connect to that WSUS server. But obviously, if you're doing this on an actual computer, you're going to want to disconnect it afterwards unless you want to receive like every single feature update and not get any cumulative updates whatsoever. So anywho, I'm going to let this do its thing. I'll time lapse this and we're back to the nostalgia all the way back from 2015 and 2016, which it's already preparing the installation. All right, so it says, great, we'll get the upgrade started. First, here's some important stuff. And there's literally nothing, that's hilarious. I'm guessing the Eula would be here, but it's not here for some reason. So let's just click accept, preparing for the upgrade, please wait. And then it just continues on. So now you guys will see what we have here. It says, your upgrade is ready to install. Let's pull that back up, I don't know why it minimized itself. And it says, Save your work and leave your PC plugged in and turned on. The upgrade might take a while, but we'll let you know when it's done, and you can either schedule it for later, or you could start the upgrade now. So obviously, we want to start the upgrade now, so let's do this option. So let's click it, and it's just going to restart, and now you can see it's configuring update for Windows 10, and it's going to go. So I'll time lapses for you guys. Which, by the way, I did this on Windows 8.1 because on Windows 7, I was having some problems getting it working. So for this demonstration, I just did Windows 8.1 because it seems to work. So anyways, let's go. Alright guys, so we are back at this nostalgic screen which says, Welcome to Windows 10! And we click next, and then we got the good old get going fast, which I'll click customize. I always uncheck all of this stuff because this is all just telemetry, which we don't need. Get out, get out, get out. And then obviously I keep smart screen and I turn the other two off. Oh, we have meet Cortana, guys which this doesn't work anymore, so not now. And then it talks about the new apps in Windows, Photos, Microsoft Edge, Groove Music, Movies and TV, and then click Next. And then we have finalizing our settings here. And it's gonna log in, so it's gonna say, Hi, we've updated your PC. Well, yes, you did update my PC. Thank you so much. And then getting things ready, please don't turn off your PC, which I will let this do its thing. Um, I did 1607 because it's the closest to the other versions and it's going to be as close to the old updating experience as possible. So 
I think this is pretty cool that someone actually brought this back. Like, thank you so much. Like, this is really nostalgic and really cool that you could just upgrade to Windows 10 through the control panel. Sadly, it's not GWX. Hopefully that'll get brought back someday. I do know that someone got it back before, but like, I don't know how to do it. So like, if any of you guys know how to bring back the Get Windows 10 app, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll try it out. Anyways, let's wait for this. I forgot to unmute my mic, but you guys saw it said let's start and we got to the Windows 10 desktop, which I believe that this background was actually on computers after you upgraded to Windows 10 because I remember seeing this wallpaper a lot. And if we go to personalization, you could see it's probably a theme or something. So let's go to our theme settings and it sets this theme right here, which I believe is the Windows 10 theme. But I remember back in the day being able to go through these themes and set stuff. We also have the default Windows one and all that. Let's go ahead and set this to dark mode to save our eyes. So anyways, let's um, show our Winver because I forgot to show that. And you guys will see we are on Windows 10 version 1607, which obviously that wasn't one of the versions you could upgrade to back in the day, but it's as close as we're going to get. And here's our VM, which by the way, it would still be activated after doing this, but that's just because of how you activated it before. So it doesn't lose activation or anything like that. Now, a few notes to let you guys know, after doing this, like if you plan to keep this on an actual computer and you go to Windows Update, do not check for updates here. Because if you do this, it's gonna start pulling every single feature update because you're still connected to that WSUS server. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that really quickly before continuing. So obviously let's uninstall legacy update, well, the modded legacy update. This doesn't fully get rid of it though, in my experience, like I tried this and it didn't get rid of it, but we're just gonna uninstall it. And then now we're going to head over to the registry. So reg edit, I think I typed it wrong, reg edit, and then hit yes, and we're gonna navigate. So they're going to go to HK local machine software, and then you're going to find policies, Microsoft, I oh know it's Microsoft, Windows, and then Windows Update. And you can see we have OS upgrade here. You want to delete this, and we don't want to use a WSUS server either, so you're going to delete this too. And then there's nothing in Windows Update. Actually, there is still stuff in here, so I recommend going here and deleting these as well because we do not want any Windows Update policies. So do that as well, even though it did work without doing that, but it's still recommended to get rid of them anyway. And then afterwards, I would just recommend rebooting just to make sure that it's completely gone because if you keep that WSUS server in place, it's going to get feature updates only and it's going to break everything and we don't want to do that. All right, so our VM is back up. Um, let's check Windows Update. Um, I'm hoping that got rid of it because I've not actually tried this yet. This is the first time I've tried removing it if I seemed a little bit off. And you guys will see here, we're actually getting normal updates. We're not getting all these like weird feature updates like I was getting before. So clearly what I did worked. So, all right, sorry guys, I got interrupted. But anyways, you guys will see, we're actually getting normal updates. We're not getting all those weird feature updates. So if you actually plan to do this on an actual computer, go ahead and remove those policies so that way it doesn't freak out and waste all your bandwidth and etc. Which I will have a members only bloopers video of all the weird stuff I experienced doing this and maybe doing more experimenting with this, but I even show my experience of when I tried this on Windows 7, which I'm gonna actually probably try it on Windows 7 again. I couldn't get it to work properly, and a person in the comments said that the WSUS server is weird on Windows 7, you have to do a couple things to get it to work, but I didn't want to show both in one video because it would make it longer, so I decided just to do Windows 8.1 because it works and you know, both 7 and 8.1 got the upgrade offer anyway. Anywho, I really hope you guys enjoyed this nostalgic video. It's crazy how Windows 10 is literally dying in less than a month because it dies on October 14th. And right now as a recording, it's September 26th. So we have like 20 days or less until Windows 10 dies, which I'll have more videos coming up for you guys for that. But I really hope you enjoyed this nostalgia trip. So I sure did. I'll leave all the links in the description, obviously. 
Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Also, thanks to the person making this, which they made a YouTube video on it as well. If you guys want to check that out, all links in the description. Also, thanks to my channel members, which are Samira Yoshisawa, The Full Moon, Christian1739, Overgreen, Strata Gate, Sidevlogs, DJ1I28, Dencorn, Cyclone, Caden, Aqua, Ritu, Mike Rea, Chris Garrett, Zach's Tech Place. Along with everyone else here on this list, I really appreciate you guys' support for being a channel member. It really means a lot to me. You guys will see that bloopers video as well, along with other content. Once again, thank you so much. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. More videos coming soon, and bye-bye for now.